Hidden deep in the mountains in southwest China's Guizhou province, Da Fa Canal brings water and hope to the residents of Cao Wang Ba Tim Tuan Jie Village, a small unincorporated village where more than 100 households have benefited from the man-made canal for decades. Da Fa Canal was named after Huang Da Fa, a man who led villagers to carve out the waterway on a steep crag to ensure the water supply. But before the water canal was completed in 1995, life here was very hard. Local people, who are of Gelao ethnic group, were not even well fed and clad. They had a shortage of water for many generations. Depending on a single well for water, they could only plant corn and potatoes to live on, and the rice was a luxury only available during spring festival. At that time, the village had no electricity and no decent roads, earning it the name of the poorest part of the surrounding area. Drawing water to a team had been a long cherished dream for the local people, including Huang Da Fa. Huang was an orphan born into a team in 1935, and his neighbors brought him up. He decided to do three things for the villagers: draw water to the village. Build a road and get access to electricity. Things started to change in 1959 when Huang Da Fa was selected as a leader for the team. Huang found that Ye Biao Village, a few kilometers away, had water to spare. But how to bring the water through the mountains, which lay between the two villages, was a thorny problem. Things did not go well at the beginning. With very little knowledge of water conservancy, Huang could not build a workable canal, but he never lost hope. Huang began to study engineering by himself, and was determined to construct the canal again. He conducted meetings to persuade discouraged villagers. With his professional technology and persistence, he received support from the local government. In 1991, he and 300 plus people began to dig up the canal using hammer, chisel, and their own hands. The construction of the project spanned for 36 years, and their efforts paid off in 1995, when water rushed through a 7,200 meter main canal and 2,200 meters of branch canals. With enough water. People started to change their non-irrigated farmland to grow rice. In the same year, the village was connected to electricity, and a new road was built. Now, in his 80s, Huang, a former party secretary of the village, still thinks about how to improve the lives of villagers, and maintains the habit of checking the canal to make sure it's not blocked. Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Chen Qiang with Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm on the edge of a cliff near Tuanjie Village in southwest China's Guizhou Province. On my right is the Da Fa Canal. Firstly, I'd like to introduce our live streaming team. I have several colleagues with me. One holding a phone to trace me. Another cooperating the drone to record the routine, and the third one will join us later. As the road here is too narrow for so many people to stand together, now look down. Wow, can you imagine that I'm standing on a three hundred on the crag, which is three hundred meters deep, almost as high as a hundred-story building. It really makes me shudder, and we can see the.、Uh, Forest trees flourish in the damp climate, and、uh, wildflowers grow very well. And the scenery is quite remarkable, and we can see the peaks of mountains in the distance. Okay, follow me to experience more. Well, I must be very, very careful, for the road is too narrow. Wow, <laughs> that's a crag.
Okay, this is the main trunk of this irrigation project. Uh, and the stone-lined canal winds its way around the sheer rock cliffs. And the water uh, run, is clear water running fast. And uh, I think I'd be, I would better walk in, in the water for the road for ground is might simply give a run, uh, give give away. Okay, just ah, uh, just walking the water. The water canal is still in service, most uh, mostly for irrigation, and uh, we can see the black pi uh, black pipe, and uh, the villagers drink tap water through the black pipe. and the water running fast. And we can see there, it's very hot today, and we can see the road he, uh, over there, and it's very small because it's too far. And we can see a car. Just, uh, just watch out for the rocks overhead. They are solid and rough. Okay, I wonder if it would fall, actually. So let's go on our cliff trip. Wow, it's too narrow. Wow. And we can see the lands landscape is very great. But it's really, really dangerous here. And we know that Rome wasn't built in a day, and the and the canal uh, was constructed twice. But uh, the first time uh, between 1980 and 1971. Uh, but in Maine, due due to the lack of technology. Uh, after 20 years, about, uh, in 1991, uh, Huang, uh, as a party secretary of the village, decided to rebuild the canal. Um, about 300 uh, villagers uh, joined the canal construction. I just, uh, it, uh, it's beyond the imagination that uh, how the villagers, how the vill local people, uh, without any Heavily, uh, heavy, heavy machinery just to, to uh, finish the work, and they just uh, chiseled, hammered into the rock face of the canal. Wow, they are so great! And in 1995, uh, about four years later, they finished the canal, and the water canal rushed uh, uh, just. Uh, Relieved the, relieved the chronic, the villagers' chronic shortage of, of water. Wow. I think it's safer to walk in the water than standing on the crag. A 60 centimeter wide, 50 centimeter deep canal had been built, spreading over three villages 
with the main canal marrying 7.2 kilometers. Branches were built into the villages scattered through the area. All added together, the total length of the canal system is 9.4 kilometers. The canal not only solved the village's drinking water shortage, it has also helped um, irrigate 80 hectares of rice fields, so harvests are ensured during both rainy and dry seasons, yielding half a million kilograms of rice a year. We can see the water is deeper and uh, I'm now sitting on the bank of the cliff built against the cliff and uh, wow, it's, I'm so tired and scared so I, had, I need some rest. Oh, I, I can hardly be, believe that 20, uh, 82 year old Huang Dafa uh, just to check, check and uh, clean up the canal every month after he retired in 2003. That's quite uh, too difficult for me. Okay, let's go on. Just be careful. I just feel a little bit dizzy. Wow, so much. It's many bugs. Okay, here. I'd like to show you an experiment. Okay, I firstly, I, didn't, I need to find the. Wow. Wow, there are so many sand. I need to find a stone. Okay, here. I find a stone and I will drop it. Nobody was there, so it's safe to do that. We find it, it is hard to hear the sound of the stone falling to the ground. See, it is too, too deep and it's too high. Anyway, okay, the canal is too deep, and we need to. We, we may experience on the canal. Uh, the, so, uh, the signal said uh, it's a. Uh, is a crack that is very dangerous. And we can see over there, there's some sheep. Wow, well, actually they are the goat. goat. And the dog. 
There are the villagers here. We can follow there, the way. The trees, uh, the bamboo grow very well here, and uh, we can we can we can see the bottom of the mountain, so we may feel a little more comfort comfort uh, comfortable. Okay, this is. This is a wide view from, from my location and the, the scenery is quite remarkable and the, the air quality is quite good. Okay, let's go on. Dafa Canal was named after, well, named after Huang Dafa, uh, who led the villagers to construct the canal and uh, relieved the water uh, shortage of the village. We can see the rocky mountain. It's hot today. Actually, my legs are trembling and I must take deep breath. Whoa, whoa, it's loose. Okay, so I, I'd better Watch my steps. Wow. We are on the vertical cliff. These mountains are very steep. We are climbing down the mountains. If, if we walked up, we can find the water source, but actually we are go on the other side. We need to climb down the mountain and find the village. 
Now we can see the corner there. I we just uh, turn around and go to another mountain. Whoa! Just look there. Wow, it's the vertical cliff. And we can see many plants there. And on the other side is a rocky mountain. Okay, let's move on. Start our cliff trip. Wow, see, it's too dangerous. Just uh, be careful, our cameraman. Hi, Anion. So, here we, we are joined by, by Alien, who is Hi. Italian and uh, she is, uh, she has uh, start, uh, stayed in Guizhou for seven months. Say hi to our audience. Hi everybody. <laughs> uh, so we just come uh, uh, walk down the hills, yeah. then and uh, I, I think you just uh, have the brief tour here, and yeah. uh, it's so. amazing, really. I mean, it's a thing that is really an amazing place, and is so how, uh, how is the countryside? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Countryside. It's the first. It's the first time in my life that I climb a mountain like this. And I was a bit scared about the situations because it's a bit dangerous. But I think that is a very interesting experience for my life. And now I know how they build the canal, the water canal. Yeah. And, and I think that is really amazing, really. Oh. Have you seen uh, any projects like, uh, in other places? No, never. This is the first time. Yeah, I'm impressed by the canal builders. Yeah, I'm very impressed also because uh, I think that work here in, in, a, in such a small place is very dangerous and I think that a lot of people cannot stand the work like this and they are very brave, really, yeah. really brave. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, uh, go. let's go. Okay. okay. Uh, I go first. Okay. okay. Just watch your steps. Be careful. Alien, um, uh, I uh, I need to uh, say that the the villagers just uh, uh, the, the mountain is, is too uh, too steep and the village the villagers build the canal and bring the water draw the water channels to the uh, to the villages and to their homes and 
For me, I think it's quite unimaginable. And what do you think? I think the the same because、um, nowadays each city, each country should have the water. And、water is precious. Yeah, is is the is the most important thing for the life, and it's so strange that a village cannot have water. But is I think that is nineteen nineties. Nineteen yes, and but I think that the people of the village that by themselves decided to build everything and to keep going to with their life in the village. Is is something very very amazing because they think they I think that they love this place in、yeah. the middle of the mountains of the countryside and they don't want to move for example in a city or other places but they want to build their own life inside the nature so it's really amazing. Yeah. So how brave they are.、Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Okay. And I saw before、uh, one guy and one girl with、hmm? the animal, like small sheep. They are working. Yeah. yeah, they are working here. Uh -huh. I I saw you saw them. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah. Now the villagers. The villagers. Yeah. Uh, so this is not uh only in the drinking, drinking canal canal irrigation for irrigation, and they are just there wait、uh, to the village. Yeah. 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 They just uh, uh feed the animals and. Yeah, feed the animals and get back. Wow! <laughs> Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but just be careful. Just let your head down. Okay. Lower and Sometimes pass it. That、mm. I'm tall and it's dangerous. <laughs> Did you hurt your head? A bit, but it's okay.、Oh. Nothing、oh. dangerous. Be more cautious. The rock is huge,、yes. and if you don't pay attention, you may hit your head. Be careful. Watch your head.
We are close to the village, and you can like this, do like this, yeah. just to keep balance. We must keep a safe distance and uh, be careful the, the cliff is loose and uh, we'd better walk on the canal. So, Anian, yeah. are you afraid of heights? Um, a bit, a bit. Uh, uh, I'm not afraid of height, but uh, just looking down is, is very impressive for me, really, because it's too deep, too high. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's go. go. Find a safer place to talk. Okay. Okay, I'm walking in the okay. water. Yeah. And you see the black pipe? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, so the villagers drink tap tap water through the thread. Oh. And the canal mostly for irrigation function. Uh -huh. you can see the branches and Do you need something to support you? No, thank you. This. Be careful, and safety must come first. Yeah. 
And we can see the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Just be careful. And we can see a pipe, and it was lifted out of the water, and it will bury. It will be buried in the sand, in the rock, on the rock. I will go after you. Okay. You can see now it's in it's under the construction. Yeah. It's border here because it's newly built. This part. So we are near to the uh, we are near the city. Yes. And we can oh okay. We just one by one. Mm -hmm. It's too narrow actually. And we can see we can see some flowers along the waterway and beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. So uh, what do you think of the experience? I think that is I didn't expect that I should climb like this, but uh, I think that is is very interesting interesting for me because uh, I'm going also to to meet the man that decided to help a village and the villagers. And do you like climbing mountains? Um, yes, I like, but. Uh, I live in in a city since I was a child mm -hmm. and me and my parents usually never go to the mountain yeah. but when, when I arrive in China I start to climb because Chinese like mountains and climbing and my Chinese friend bring me in Guizhou or uh, mountains near Shanghai and I like it, I enjoy it. It's different it. from Shanghai city, right? Yeah, absolutely, Absol absolutely. <laughs> it's the countryside. Yeah, it's two different worlds inside China. I think that in China you can find a lot of different places, mountains, sea, big city, garden, everything you want to find, you can find. Okay, look overhead. And the water running smoothly. And uh, do you know, Anyan, okay. where is the black pipe? Black pipe? Yeah, can you guess? Uh, black pipe. Uh, we, we saw it just now. Ah, uh, the one that we were before, no? Now we no. can't see. We can see it in in, in the, the water. water. Yeah, <laughs> where it is now? Yeah. I really don't know. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I I can 
tell you. Yeah. It's under the way we stand. Uh, yeah, uh, it is buried in in the rock. Oh wow! Because it, when it is in water, it is not um, it, it is not uh, safe. Ah, uh, okay. So it's it's wide here, so we can go faster. Yes. You can see the plants are growing very well. Yes. Look over there, we can see the village, uh, some houses. We can see some cars, sound of cars. Are you feel better now? Yes, of course. <laughs> I feel safe here. The scenery is very beautiful and you guys can enjoy it while we are walking. So we can see some farmland there because of the water. Yes. And they and they're also building the the street. Yeah. Everything is going to be better. So life here was very hard before the uh, before the canal was completed. So <laughs> so I have some pictures, old pictures yeah. to show you. And now can you help me hold it. Yes, of course. Okay, we can see the uh, the paper that printed the. The village, and we can see the cost uh, landscape. And we can see rocks. Rocks, yeah. And uh, uh, among it, between it, is um, there are some corns, and uh, the villagers, the villagers feed, uh, live on the corns. And they, you know that Chinese people lo love um, rice yes. in the south, in south south of China. China. Yeah, but. Uh, he, people here just uh, eat uh, have rice during the spring festival because wow. rice is so precious. Wow, really? Okay, now this picture we have a close closer look at it. Corn, the stone. In this picture, it uh, shows us that this is a horse. And they and they carried some maybe some bags of uh, vegetables, and uh, you know that there there was no uh, electricity and distant roads, so they just uh, let the horses and other animals to carry them to outside outside places, and here is our. Uh, Former party secretary of this village, Huang Dafa. Huang Dafa. Yeah. Okay. And he, uh, here is the, his wife, and this is his uh, his old house. And this picture is uh, taken from a book, so it's not clearly. It's not clear, right? Yeah. And this is oh, <laughs> just to cover the light. And this is a machine that they use to just to um, make the make the canal. And the villagers here. 
Okay, we can see the canal. Wow, just too deep. We can see the people here and the cliffs. It's not clear enough. We can see this. They just they just uh, do did it by themselves. And the last picture is to use electric drill and to make holes in the mountains. Yeah, this is a villager. Yeah, the barefoot feet. Maybe in summer. Yes. <laughs> Okay, finished. Oh, this is a photo, and we can see it is taken in 2007, and the canal maybe it is uh, destroyed, and uh, we can see the sand, and uh, it's not workable. Okay, yeah, so precious pictures, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, today uh, we also find that our uh, hero, yes, our Mr. Hero. Huang, Huang Dafa, he is busy with the uh, work that uh, cl clearing, clearing the canal. And we can see some, some leaves in the water. So he is doing, he is doing the cleaning work. <laughs> Huang Zhishu, hey, hey, you are a young man. Hey, we are in the Xinhua Show live. Uh, that, uh, please say hi to our audience. Hi. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, this is our my friend Anian. Hello. 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 When you start to build the water canal? Uh, in 1991, Okay, he said uh, he began to rebuild the canal in 1991, and uh, he and uh, uh, and other villagers tried to do these uh, constructions. Okay, uh, how does yes, yes. Well, yes, I'm one in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I want to ask you. Uh, I was building the canal because it's very dangerous and. We saw we climbed the mountain, and we saw that uh, if you fall down, you can just um, lose your life. You you weren't scared. Ni konzo da shaho bupa ma, iwei yo hen da de wei xian. Bupa. 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 Ah. Uh, you dang ni yin dao, you qin nong ni zhi se. Uh, wo me you zhe ge xin. Uh, he said he is not scared for uh, the support of the villagers and the local government, and uh, he said he they uh, they would devote themselves to the canal because uh, all the people local people want to have rice yes. and they want. It wants the water. Uh, it's uh, it's their cherished dream. Okay. And how many colleagues work with you? Uh, ni ni he. 
呃，两百多，两百，我们总的这个事业有一千，总有千把人，事业单位有千把人。哎、嗯。但是我们上去上这个修的呢，我们已经有三十把人。嗯。两百。哎，呃 ，He said, uh, uh, there are three hundred plus villagers attending, are participating in this building, a canal, and uh, it, the canal just benefited, uh. More than a thousand people here. Okay, and um, uh, the people of your village uh, treat you like a hero, uh, and I think that is amazing that you can do it by yourself. But uh, I want to ask you, uh, in your opinion, why um, Chinese government? Didn't uh, give you money or help to construct the water canal. Uh, what你来说，为什么中国的呃中国没给你们钱，或者没帮助你们做水库？我们要吃大面饭，我们就大家来，大家干，为了钱我们要干，然后。我们就是组织背面筹大米，我们要把这个水拉过去。我们长坝的人民要要改变面貌，我们要尝大米饭，那我们要发动群众，我们共产党人要带头，要帮老百姓筹点肥，啊，老百姓生活得提高。Uh, to be a member of CPC, and uh, he said he must uh, be a, a leader and uh, just to change the change the village. Yeah, and uh, because the village is too poor, and uh, the villagers should get out of the get out of the poverty. And uh, even even though they didn't have enough money, so they just uh, did it by themselves. Ah, and I know that you study engineer by yourself. You你自己学习。自学就是那个自学的这个呃技术。嗯。老金说，看到人家啷个做，我就啷个做。我老金想，我啷个得好，就把他修好。老金的想出来嘞，心都啷个想，就啷个做。技术就老金的，我不是文化
，这我们原来这个水，他我们还他还没有参加这个时候，我们就是没有用这个力气，我们这个人土办法，我们这钱都变成我们借了，我们两个借了，用两块八方方，这个八方方来整洁，整个水壶，装一壶水来，这个倒，这个倒之后他朝那边流。Okay, he is a villager who participated in the construction. He said uh, he uh, once he was uh, the discouraged uh, um, villager, but uh, was persuaded by Mr. Huang. So he uh, attended the uh, uh, rebuilding the canal. So, uh, sorry, there's some sad in my eye. In my eye. And uh, he said he just u using some uh, very simple tools, just like the hole, to just to dig up the canal. Yeah. Mm. And I, I, I also want to ask you, when you were working, what problems did you encounter? While you, you were working, did you discover some difficulty? Uh, which difficulties? How many difficulties? 他问你们有？遇到的困难多。他这个呃，黄支书这个老党员，他遇的困难呢就不得了，整天都有困难。哎、呃，整天从我们这，从我们那边大山上。不要什么困难，简单说一下好吗？呃，困难，一个是土地，这个这个放炮，可这个泥巴，他给我们到人家土地，他一要找人家骂，有时间哈，有时间这个放炮，红的位置放炮，给打到人家房子。人家老百姓就，有些不懂的，他就骂骂娘娘，就骂人家。你问他嘛，他就就受这些困难。The villagers said uh, they met, uh, they overcome so so many difficulties, including that uh, the blast when they blast the mountains, and uh, some vill uh, some villagers didn't um, understand their their behavior, and uh, they had to use their the villagers' land, and. Uh, Anyway, they just uh, overcome uh, all the difficulties. Okay? okay, since you have so, so, so many proper, uh, so many questions. Yeah. Now, uh, no. with this, only the last one. Uh, now with this, we wrap out up our live show today. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it and. Um, Think, uh, if you like our show, please uh, share it with your friends on your own Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Thank bye you. bye. Bye bye.